As a person like myself, it's very hard being told you can't do something. So let's say if I wanted to go run a marathon, people told me I couldn't, I would do everything in my power to prove to them I could. What is high school if you don't participate? So in my eyes, why don't you go play sports, make some friends so you can have them down the road, have all kinds of memories, and it just, it was a no-brainer, really. I honestly didn't know what to expect. I mean, I'd gone to the doctors because I had dislocated the right knee three times. So I had already seen the doctor multiple times. I pretty much like best friends at this point. And he told me the next time we'll probably be talking surgery. So at that point, after it happened, I was laying on the field like, okay, this means surgery, I know that. And probably, I wasn't crying and hurt, I was crying in pain of not being able to do what I love to do. So I think that that has taught me a lot in perspective of don't take what you love for granted or something like that. So it really has, I think, made a big impact on my life. After surgery, my goal was to basically just play sports again and be back to the way I was, if not better. But I think the recovery process was very hard. The first knee surgery I had on the right knee, I cried because I didn't know what to do. And afterwards, there were nights that I would sit there and just think to myself, like, oh, I could be doing so much other stuff right now. But then I came more accustomed to going to physical therapy, which I was already used to it, but it was three to four times a week, so that was new. And after getting my life back, I guess you could say, I will take that one little negative over everything else.